All right, guys, we got a fish. Oh, and it's a fighter. My line's caught too, he's still on. Good morning, good morning, guys. I want to welcome you guys back to another episode of Hook'em and Book'em Outdoors. Today, we're back at it again. Today, I'm giving you guys a different location, a new location that I have never fished before. I'm going to give it a shot and see what we can get. Today, as you guys know by the title, we're at Quail Lake. It's another little reservoir that uh, the aqueduct leads into. And we're going to fish it and see what we can get. It's my first time. I'm out here by myself. And hopefully we can get up on something. So let's uh, give it a shot and see what we can get. All right, so we're coming up to the bank. <clears throat> we got a nice area. All right, I like this. It's pretty neat. Looks like the water is pretty down. This is a nice long stretch of uh, a bank area that we could fish. I've never been here before. I don't know exactly where the good spots are at, but pretty sure it's as good as anywhere. So, we'll just give it a shot here and see what we can get. Just set up here and if we don't get anything here, we'll move down. That's the plan. All right guys, so I went ahead and moved to a new spot. I'm over here where the aqueduct leads into the Quail Lake Reservoir, which is right there. So I've never fished out here. Let's give it a shot. I'm pretty excited, feeling pretty good. So hopefully I can get up on some stripers and I'm hoping it'll be a great size. So let's go get them. It was a long walk to get over here too. Really long walk. And I'm hoping I can get on some fish. All right guys, we got a fish. Fish on. Oh, and it's a fighter. Oh, man, I think it's snagged too. My line's caught too, he's still on. He's on there. All right, fish on, let's get him in. Get this bell off. Catfish? Striper. Oh yeah, that's a beautiful striper. Woohoo! Alright, let's get him in. All right, we got him. First fish of the year. Oh man, that feels good. There he is, guys. First fish of the year. All right. 
over here at Quail Lake, baiting and waiting. Uh, I had to pull in at seven o'clock this morning, and he hit about 9:55. It's 9:56 right now, so they're starting to bite. I believe they're coming in. Hmm. All right, there he is. Let's weigh him. Let's weigh him, measure him, and string him up. We got two pounds, 12 ounces. All right, it's a good fish. Let's put them on the stream and we'll, uh, we'll measure them. All right, got him on the stringer. Let's throw him out. So, all right, you guys, so the story is, uh, I had the bait in there, <clears throat> the bait and wait in the water for about three hours. Uh, seven, eight, nine, yeah, three hours. Uh, it was 9.55, 10 o'clock was the time I was gonna go ahead and check the bait. Uh, he hit at 9.55, so right before I was getting ready to check the bait, it went off. So, as you guys can see behind me, there's a lot of rocks here. Uh, there's a lot of rocks here. So, when I threw it out there, and when it hit, when I was drilling it in, it got snagged in some rocks. So I wasn't able to bring them in. So. What I had to end up doing was snapping the line, hoping that it was the hook that uh, he was on to keep, to keep the fish. So I went ahead and snapped it, pulled it, and broke off two of my hooks, and only ended up with the one that he was on. So I got very lucky to go ahead and bring him in. So now I'm gonna go ahead and re-rig and throw it back out there and see what else we can get. So let's keep fishing. So this time I got two baits. I got, my setup is a disc weight, two ounce, a two ounce disc weight at the bottom. Up at the top, I got two baits, about maybe three feet, four feet from each other. So we're gonna throw it out there and see what we can get. Guys be safe out there, have fun. Later.